Now, making her world premiere from the Masai Mara, if you can believe it, all the way from the Salt Lick down south, we've got T-Bomb Taylor McCurdy. James, was that a boxing match? Hello, everybody. Welcome, of course, again to Safari Live. My name is Taylor, and on camera with me is Jean Dre. And yes, I made it safe and sound, missing a bag or two, but hopefully we're going to find all those wonderful things. Remember, this is live, this is interactive. Send through all of your questions, hashtag Safari Live, or you can chat to us on the YouTube chat. Now, we are searching for lions at the moment. Had a very interesting sighting on the back of Scotty's vehicle uh, on the Sunrise Safari, though you didn't see too much of us. Uh, well, you didn't hear me as well. How good am I being quiet? Well, I thought it was quite impressive. I just sit on my hands. Scott actually shoved a sock in my mouth because I wouldn't keep quiet most of the time. So that's why I was sitting so quietly. And we came to this area and it was really incredible. So we arrived. Firstly, we spotted two lionesses coming down from a small little, out, little, little rocky outcrop and down they came very playful jumping playing around and then we saw a male as well he looked quite large from the distance but we realized that as he came closer he actually wasn't an old male at all he may be around mm, four four years old or so then we spotted another two younger male lions in the distance and they were slightly younger than the other boy anyway the girls were not interested in any of them they were playing around they actually looked like they wanted to find something Quite interesting though. The young boys then saw the loner on his own and decided they didn't like his presence anymore. And the very smart uh, single lion decided this is not a good idea to get stuck between these two young fresh boys. They looked like they were ready to roll. And anyway, they just sort of walked and chased him off and moved him out of the area. So we're looking for those five lions at the moment. Whether we're going to find them or not, I don't know. Whether we're going to make it home, that's also, well, We'll have to see because it's a big space for me to get lost in. <laughs> Luckily, it's open. We've got the escarpment on one side and the river on the other. Anyways, we're going to keep on searching. I'm going to send you back across all the way to my dear friend Byron in the Sabi Sand who is searching for wild dogs. <laughs> 